Welcome everyone to Hacking Infinity Media Bones. Um, so there's been some chaos. Uh, go figure. Uh, uh, but uh, we are going to do a, uh, a magical girl, uh, magical girl playtest of, of Media Bones. Um, and uh, while there's been some chaos and setup and in uh, figuring out what exactly we're going to do, I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so, uh, the first thing is character creation, which I'm already behind on. <laughs> uh, well, you're not behind. You're exactly on time because we're starting right now. And we definitely were doing things before then. Okay. Which is now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so the first thing to do is, uh, oh, I should look at the text just to remind myself of, uh, There's a, there's a post basic... to Discord. Okay, it's in Discord. Um, yeah. So I can go over the rules while you think about it, because I'm not sure if I actually did that last time, so we okay. probably did. Uh, the rules are very simple. Uh, you pick the character, con pick a character concept. A few words to describe a person, an idea, a flavor of ice cream. Just something that will give you a guiding focus when it comes to the later things. Uh, we'll ask some follow-up questions. And then you pick three skills from the massive skill list that is provided in D&D 5th edition, which is animal handling, medicine check, uh, stealth, uh, perception, persuasion, etc. Um and then you pick two flavor text skills, which are very unique to your character that you make up uh, based on your concept. Uh, things like autopsy or tattooist or uh, hate them where it hurts, which could be you're good at finding people's weak point or being emotionally, emotionally manipulative. Uh, emotionally manipulative. Mm. Uh, so it's. It's what you think your initial concept would be and what you name it. You could also use to use it in a different way later on. Um, and when it works on a failure and success of if you roll a 10 and above, it's a success. If you roll a 10 and below, it's a failure. Uh, sometimes DCs change if it's a very hard thing you're doing. There's a dual system where you say at what stage, like with a five above you get this level of success with a 10 above you get this level you get this thing to happen with a 15 you get this thing and you go into a duel which is, a, is really a negotiation of the level of success and failure that you're willing to accept uh knowing basically the ending of it but seeing that play out is very different depending on what you negotiate um, and when you have these special skills you get advantage and it's a d20 system because it's the best dice. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> and uh, for this game, uh, you have a supply kit that has three uses uh, where you can pull out a physical thing that your character, it would make sense for them to have, that can help you in a situation. Uh, and you also have one plot point where you can change the story narrative dr dramatically plot twist or something to make the audience gasp and surprised. Um, we also talked about the, the ladder of failure, so if it's close to the DC but just under that it it fails forward and only something kind of bad happens, but if you like really mess up and you get like a one and the DC was super hard at a twenty, then something very bad happens. Or vice versa, something very good happens. Um, for magical girl since it's a genre slottable game, there are four things that you need to pick. So for Magical Girl, it's pick a magical power theme. You pick a hair color or outfit sort of color scheme. Uh, you pick a special attack move, and then you pick your best and worst subject at school. I'm still working on those ones. I may do a rival in the future, but for right now we're focusing on school. Since we normally talk about Characters and NPCs as we build ourselves up uh, happens naturally. That is that is the rules so far. Okay. 
so for that in, uh, initial character concept, or before that initial character concept, uh, can we talk a little bit about uh, uh, setting first? Because I think that might be helpful to me, at least. Sure. Um, um, well, since so we, since I had the, I've, I've edited these rules a lot. So I think the first rule will end up being pick a genre and then discuss the rules that apply to that genre. Because with Magical Girl things, it could be anything from, uh, it's pastry-based, or it can be like, the Magical Girls are all secret, or they're all in the open, and they're trained from, you know, the time their powers show up until they go away. Uh, or it could be like, completely unique, uh, you're the only five people, or two people who have magical powers that you know of, uh, or it could be like, like a superhero city, like everyone sort of has something going on. Mm -hmm. um, so what kinds of things interest you guys in a magical girl style? Like how upbeat or gory do you want to get with the world? That's the thing about leaving it vague, is that it's it's open to your interpretation mood. But the genre. Okay. Is there anything you don't want to see or you do want to see? You think uh, I think maybe like <laughs> would be quite light, but then sure, and then it might go like really dark, but very very rarely. I think generally it should be um, yeah, quite upbeat. Um, I was imagining it as like a kind of magical girl academy kind of thing, but I'm. Um, I'm open to suggestions. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we can definitely do that. So, uh, Brad, how do you feel about that? Mostly uh, upbeat, okay. but maybe like sometimes it gets serious, like the dad gets kidnapped. Or... Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm fine with uh, most mostly upbeat and uh, uh, yeah, I like the academy theme. I think that's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, it is the, uh, is the Academy specifically for magic, sort of a, like a, uh, uh, anime Hogwarts thing, or, uh... Or is it like a is, school that is, happens to have... Yeah. Yeah. So, what do um, you guys think? I mean, that's a... That's yeah, a I have that actually, is... yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I have actually seen a couple of uh, episodes of, I think it was uh, Vampire High School, I think it was called, something like that. <laughs> Vampire uh, High School? So I have, I have that reference, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, uh, Spoof, how, do you want to have a, a school where everyone is magical, or do you want to have a school that's like a different genre that you just happen to, like, is it a pastry school and you're, you're anime pastry girls? With magical powers based around food, I would uh, go food. So that's yeah, I, I was literally. thinking of anime hot Hogwarts. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like everyone being. I mean, maybe even that it's like um, the kind of flex where like you have like lots of different species, if that makes sense. Or, like, sure. So Animal there's folks. Some humans, but there's also like elves and yeah, like all okay. the, all that good anime noise. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to do uh, sort of an, an entwining of in characters where they kind of uh, uh, contrast each other? Like you're you're going for like a a, a goth uh, <laughs> overall theme. Um, yeah. I I'm thinking maybe in contrast to that, I'll do uh, someone who. Uh, Whose like personal style is, is very much uh, you know sort of uh, uh, light and and like sort of rainbow bright esque, uh, but uh, uh, but is actually like a uh, uh, reformed uh, 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 mean girl slash uh, mastermind. So did you used to be a villain then? Yes. Like, oh, like, are there heroes and villains at this school? Well, do they accept uh, anyone with powers, or is it all good people? Like, to get in, you have to prove. Or is it all bad people? Is this an anti-hero school? 
Um, well, I mean, maybe it's uh, we could go. Uh, maybe we do. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I was thinking that uh, that we could continue the the uh, you know Hogwarts esque theme in that there there's uh, um, you know several different uh, uh, you know sort of factions, and there there is. Uh, you know, and one of them is sort of uh, Slytherin esque in that it's uh, okay. it, it at least has the reputation of being, uh, uh, you know, full of bad people, even if it, uh, it even if it isn't necessarily like it. it just... So maybe they're separated by schools of magic. Like, is this a is this a magic okay. girl like middle school or is it like a college? Like, or is it like? Oh well, in your first year, you're undecided, and then throughout different story arcs, you discover that oh, the, your best friend who you joined with is actually going to turn to the light side, and you're more drawn to like necromantic lightning energy, you know, classic evil stuff, and that there are like sororities on campus, whether it's middle school or college, that. I don't know if you've ever seen, uh, I think it's Shokudake no Soma. It's, it's a cooking school, and they have different houses that they put people in. Um, and that ends up being, like, your classmates. And I see we, we've lost yeah. someone. Yes. So, well, tactical difficulties. Uh, oh, look. And that, uh, of course, uh, messes with the window, but... Oh well. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, uh, so we'll have to uh, go back to it as soon as uh, Spook gets back. Sure. Uh, I'm I'm leaning towards uh, uh, either high school or middle school rather than college. Okay. Um, I and I, I I like the idea of the the houses being uh, like schools of magic. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether or not and like. Uh, Whichever one uh, uh, Spook uh, goes with, uh, I, I'll be happy to, to like uh, contrast it. Okay. Um, so while he's gone, uh, why don't we talk about your character a little bit since you kind of have a little more to think about. Uh, um, yeah, okay. So... Uh, I guess I'll just drop this in bio and in info. Uh, concept. Uh, recovering. Girl slash. Uh, uh, mass. I want to say evil mastermind or evil genius. genius. You could say uh, uh, evil genius in training, or were you an actual evil genius? Like how how high up in the evil hierarchy did you get? Oh, how, uh, how powerful did your evil powers get before you're like, I want to take a step back and reevaluate my life? Yeah. Uh, well, certainly not like the top of the pyramid, um, sure. but uh, probably. Somewhere above, probably above, like uh, evil flunky. Like okay, uh, so I, like I, side scientist, like number three or four in some organization. Yeah, like uh, enough to have uh, uh, lackeys at least, uh, or okay. have had lackeys, and, and maybe I, I don't anymore since I, I, I sort of uh, uh, renounced my my uh, mean girl ways. Sure. Uh, who did you? Who was your head villain? Who did you uh, tutelage under or with? Um. Well, okay. That's the thing. That would sort of depend on uh, which school of magic. That that would yeah. like color them a lot. So. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, sure. I think of it like so. It was before. Was it before you came to the school, or was it at the school that you were evil? Like, did you work freelance outside in the world, and then you're like, oh, wait, I have to go to middle school now. Like, over the summer, 
you rose to power, but then you're like, well, I gotta go back to school. So. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's at school. Like, okay. you know, people okay. at school at knew school. me as, as the, this uh, horrible person. Okay. Um, All right. So the pyramid isn't global. It's school, but it still has people like built in death rays and ice machines and all those classic, like, putting oh. animal <laughs> corpses together. Uh, yeah. Uh... So yes, something like that, or, or one of those things. It's very liberal at school. Like, <laughs> All right, sure, it's it's part of your education. You just got to write a paper on it. Death Ray One Hundred One. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh. Okay, and I think since it sounds like uh. <laughs> Uh, Spook is going to take a little bit to, he's just going to pick back up when, once he gets home. Yeah. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I think right now I looked at the feed and it's part of my chin and then part of my head. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. Well, if that's where my head is, then that's red. Okay, well, it's nothing right now. Put, um, put this here. <laughs> I'll just cover myself in stuffed animals, and then it'll be fine. Okay. All right. Um... Oops. Oops. Come on, thing. <sighs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That's not, that's not a good alarm to have. Shut that puppy off. Sounds pretty upbeat. Yeah. Got that going for it. <laughs> Did we used to play it too? Uh Well, okay, no, you're you're on four. you're you're on the West Coast. So, yeah, yeah. yeah we we did do uh uh originally we did uh four and that's sort of the time that I had been doing uh doing this when I was just doing uh just doing development uh on my own. Yeah. Um Well, we'll never know. So that I don't know if that's a complicating uh factor. I cannot read that, but thank you. Uh, I uh, something I happened. I, oh yes, uh, I got a, a a new uh, a new follow. Oh yeah, the very cool. Um, unfortunately, it's uh, the the font I'm using for the display on that is is, is illegible. Not great. <laughs> That's, uh, That's a plan, huh? Yeah. Well, now you know. So. That's good. Yeah. I uh, just need to dig around. It, I mean, it's a pretty font. It, yeah. It may be... <laughs> <laughs> Aesthetic amazing. Yeah. Uh, non functional, but, you know, it's all about what you do. So, uh, we're going to take some time to wait for Spook to get back. I suppose if you don't want to do too much without them, I could tell our audience slash you about other genre variants that I have. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, there may be... Uh, uh, there may be more that we can do in terms of uh, Your character. character building. I can probably yeah. pick, uh, Your skills. pick skills and such. Um, yeah. Let me... Do uh, a uh, little more quick formatting thing, because yeah, that's fine. Uh, 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 because damn it, 
Um. <laughs> and I will. So, what is your your visual concept? Um. So. Sort of that. Uh, uh, well, I mean, there's that, a list like, of things uh, to choose. There's the, like, oh, your okay. hair color, your mm -hmm. magical power theme, your special attack move, and then your best and worst subject in school. I think I'm, I think I'm going to change that to your, your nemesis. Because that makes it, um, no, I'm going to keep it as best and worst subject. That really tells people, like, if you're not into sports, or if you're bad at science, then you can make up one of their things there are <sighs> character creation okay um i i finished fiddling with the the uh, uh the screen element thing uh the ocd uh let me see okay so Uh, again, I'm going to skip skip, uh, skip the uh, magical power theme for now. Hair color, blonde. Uh, blonde? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, a special attack move? Yeah. Um, well, that, that matches your power theme, so uh, okay. you, you should think about your concept. Um, and if you're like, well, I want to wait till the schools look up, well, your concept determines what kinds of magical schools there are. So there's not going to be schools to pick from. You're the seed from the story that grows. Yes. From which the Okay. Story. Um, yeah. But still, the thing is, uh, I want to see whether uh, uh, Spook goes with, like, necromancy, and then if so, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do uh, something that... Uh, uh, contrasts highly with that, but... Uh, sure. I mean, but, well, that's the thing. You could be the person who he contrasts off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Your side uh, of the coin is as important as their side of the coin. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I have terrible metaphors. I apologize now. But... No, no, no. That, that's perfectly appropriate, I think. Uh... uh Let me see. I, I I guess I okay. If we're assuming, uh, if we're assuming that Spook is gonna go with uh, something like uh, uh, necromancy, um, well, they I, are, I mean, they I guess it doesn't. They're tattooists. They could do uh, it, it visual maybe art, art magic. magic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they could do insect magic. They could do uh, mental manipulation magic. Uh, yeah. So. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, um, if there's. Well, okay. Um, uh, rather than. Uh, I, I think that I uh, could pick skills fairly easily. I think. Sure. That, that, that's something that can, you can do. Yeah. I, I, I feel safe with that. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and I could pick a name. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, is it better to go with like a? Uh, do you think it'd be better to go with a, a Japanese name? Uh, well, are you or... Japanese? Uh, is this a magical girl not. school in Saskatoon? Yeah. Saskatoon, in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> or is it uh, someplace completely unique? Okay. Is, yeah. Um, and if if you would like more boundaries, because I know some people work better than that, I could just, just Google Maps randomly pick someplace and you could go from there. Okay. Uh. I think, uh, given the the time we have, uh, I'm feeling more like uh, doing something that I'm uh, more familiar with. So I, I think I'm gonna go with 
western. Okay. Um. Uh. So. The Pittsburgh School of Magical Girls and Enlightenment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I imagine the school <laughs> itself uh, may be very multicultural. It's like, uh, sure. you know, it, it, it's. Uh, it's like you step. I mean, you have to step sideways to get there, and you can, <laughs> yeah, and you know. Okay. So it, it it's next door to anywhere in the world. Uh, right. Uh, so do I want to go uh, super, uh, you know, lean super into it and go with like uh, a name like Buffy or I think Bianca, Bianca. I just put a typo and I said the school is any there, and I like that better than anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Let's see. laughs> uh, yeah. And, uh, name. Let's go to Forbes. <laughs> the richest name known to man. <laughs> Okay, and uh, skills. Uh, I'm gonna lean heavily into charisma and social skills. I think. Um, uh, like oh, and so I think intimidation. Yeah. Is can be there. Um. well as persuasion. Okay. And then for a third one, uh, I don't think I'll go with a third social skill. I'll, I'm going to uh, try and look elsewhere. Um, okay. um, maybe insight? Sure. Uh, and I, just so you know, uh, in case you want to have a uh, Variation on skills. Uh, Spook has persuade perception and insight. Oh my! Okay. Yeah. Um, so. In that case. Uh, and I run games where like, oh, I roll perception and they fail, and somebody's like, well, I want to look too. It's like, well, that's not what you said your character was doing. Like, if it's a thing where everyone is already looking, then I'll allow. But if it's something like somebody else is looking in a certain area and they fail a roll, they fail that roll. Um, if one of you tries to persuade a guard and it fails or succeeds, then that's what it is. Um, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's not the serial D and D. Yeah. Well, okay, I'll, then I'll try yeah. it. Oh well, yeah, you try it. If it's like deciphering a book, you can hand the book around. But if it's oh, okay. a like an event, like I'm oh we're being chased by skeletons and I try to find a secret door, like if you say it first, then that's what you do. Okay. It's going with the uh, the same same orientation and skills. So uh, yeah, also, I you could use it in a different it. way. Mm -hmm. um, like their insight could be uh, reading people, and your insight could be like knowing the social aspect of it. It's all in how you interpret it for your character. Okay. Well, I think instead of persuasion, I'm going to go with deception. Okay. Uh, and I'll keep the insight. Okay. The help. All right. Uh, so you have deception and insight, and what was the other one? Uh, intimidation. <laughs> intimidation. That's right. All right. What skills do you think would be unique to your character? Yeah. 
Apparently, I'm the voice of the people. <laughs> What character sheet are you in? Uh, Bianca Four. Am I in the wrong? Have I just? No, 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 no. That's okay. All right, oh, it's good. Okay. Because the "I'm the voice of the people" was the uh, was the skill that your the mayor had. Oh, so that okay. Was the mayor sheet. Was yeah. uh, was this a, like a copy popped off of that or? No, that was that come about? Uh, no, that's fine. I just needed to have him click his skills, so that would be the. Like, that was the only thing that I, I think I'd put on there, is, uh... Uh... Hmm. Like, I... Uh, so, I, I, uh... I uh, understand wanting to uh, that that you know maybe I should just kind of go ahead and let uh, uh, Spook react off of some of my stuff. But it is um, a community but, thing, so if you want to yeah. wait until he gets back, that's that's totally right. fine too. Um, well, I think what I want to do is him and Ha over uh, like special <laughs> skill and. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna so, choose balls, so. Hmm? Ah, That's yeah. what I'm doing. Okay. That's the plan. So good. So good. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah. So, uh... From what I have so far, what, uh, I guess I, I, I don't want to go with, like, a mind control thing since my skills are already sort of, uh, in the direction of, uh, social engineering and I want to uh, have, uh, a, a, a magical orientation do something else. Um... I think I, I I think that the leaning towards sort of a uh, uh, you know to use the the D and D term the uh, transmutation school okay. uh, so both of uh, uh, Making sure that, like, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, I and my clothes look perfectly poised at all times, but also being able to go, Toad, you're a Toad, mm -hmm. take that. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, well, or yeah, okay. So, so are you picking? Uh, are you working on your flavor text skills right now, or are you working on the the four um, magical variant things? Uh, Which I will copy paste into roll twenty. Oh, okay. Uh, that's that's sometimes helpful. There's a well, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more on, uh, power theme than, uh, uh, than the skill, I think. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Rather than calling it transmutation, let's call it transmogrification. Mm -hmm. Definitely more There's... magical. I can okay. say it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, is that too wide for a magical power theme? 
Um, well, your magical power thing is more like, um, like, no, that's not, um, that's more of the school that you are. Your, your power theme is like what your, it, it, it flavors what your attacks look like. Um, it flavors who your nemesis would be. Um, it, a lot of examples that I use are, there's a movie about a singer who gets a lot of plaques and surgery and weight loss stuff, and there's another pop singer who, during one week, her theme is strawberry milk, and the next week her theme is chocolate milk, and with a lot of magic girls, it's like, your theme is, uh, like, a snake, or your theme is, uh, the enduring power of friendship and one of your friends themes could be like the healing power of friendship it's it's things that have an abstract or a physical uh visual theme to it uh, like it's like picking a color of power or it's hearts versus stars or it's it's something like that okay it's not it's not your it's not the school of magic that you can do exactly what it can be um but i would think that transmogrification is it doesn't have a visual aesthetic to it sure um and that's sort of like i want to bridge that gap a little more sure so is there something you always transmogrify people into is there, are you, like, an old-school witch with, like, frogs and newts and bats? Or are you, like, uh, a visual key person with uh, making things beautiful and transform? Like, in what way do you transform things? So if you can narrow it a little bit to that, that could tell me what person you are. Because you aren't just the school you're in. You're yeah. this particular flavor of, of that. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Uh. Definitely, like the 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 visual effect when it, when doing you know Andy's word magic is going to be sort of a uh uh, uh puff of uh, of like pink glitter. Okay. Um, and. Yeah, and I guess rather than like, I think she 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 would never like turn someone into. Uh, now that I think about it, she would ne she wouldn't turn someone into a toad. It'd always be like, a uh, fluffy bunny, or. Sure. Uh... Okay, so you have but, a very um very cute aesthetic. Yes. It, it's cute. It's not like, I used to be evil, so now everything I I do I transform into a snake or a bug. Or, you know, something like that. Uh, it's cute, fluffy, um, pink glitter, a big puff of that. So, yeah. But, yeah, there, I mean, there at least used to be this huge, uh, uh, like, uh, social thing of, yes, it, everything is all uh, uh, pink glitter, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, facade of uh, beauty over a uh, a uh, 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 facade over a deep social Darwinism. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that yeah, that definitely helps narrow it down. So you okay. you are in the the magical focus of transmogrification, but you're like, it's cute stuff. It's like a puff of glitter, and it's like you have bright, fluffy things. Imagine like a fluffy, however you want to dress, um, adorable look to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so the special attack move, I think, is 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 going to be like specifically uh something like or... uh sparkle fluffy sunset blast or <laughs> like some uh thing that you could do 
Uh, Are you going to stay with Blonde? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, the magical attack is cute. Animal transformation. And you know, if it's only if using that is only partially success, uh, successful, the the they target get, like, might ears. get like the ears or the yeah uh, yeah totally. You try to use it on a teacher, they like. How dare you use that on me? And they walk away, and you see like a tail swishing. It's yeah. You're still in school. You're still learning. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. So cute, fluffy transmogrification is your power theme. Uh, you're blonde. So, when you use your special attack, what do you shout? What's the thing that you say that, like, that has the spirals of light, that by mm -hmm. the time you finish saying it, it triggers that thing? And you don't have to do it every time, but if you want to use, like, your, your ultimate power for it, this is what you say. And then when you're, like, mad at somebody at school, you just, like, you say it, like, under your breath, and they have ears. Or, you know, levels. Hmm. What is your what is your catchphrase? Okay. Uh Okay. Uh I see. Uh there ha there's like a million magical girl generator things that are out there which is so good. Like mix and match charts which help. <laughs> I may check, uh, I probably will check that, uh, but uh, where I'm looking first is uh, uh, the best quotes from Mean Girls. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, okay. So specific to the magical like, attack, uh, there, there, there's one line uh, that's uh, a mouse, duh, that uh, you know could be uh, yeah, you're a bunny, like a duh. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> that could be a thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Think of it if you think of it like uh, the words you have to say to conjure the spell itself too. So it could be a catchphrase like that, or it could be just like uh, it could be a song. Probably not for your character because it's like little quippy animal stuff. But it could be a combination of random words like most animes have, mm. which is I love them for what they do. Okay, uh, let's let's look at the Magical. generator. Okay, so. Uh, magical girl, uh, something generator. Uh, magical girl attack, attack generator. Attack generator. Okay. Yeah. Um, like fluttering pounce hurricane or crescent twirling crash or um, like flower warmth of friendship explosion. Like like something that's. Just silly. <laughs> okay, so uh, and this is just like your main one. Like you have other ones if you find more than one that you like. You do, but this is like your your big your big final attack that you don't quite have a handle on, but you have to use it against the person you've been fighting as a final. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll find out if we get to that situation. Okay. Golden Puppy Assassination. Oh gosh. Yeah, well, okay, so I'm, I'm using the, the magical, uh, a, uh, the Shinden Maker, which is a magical girl attack generation generator, um, and, and uh, the second one I got uh, was uh, uh, Pink's attack is pu Golden Puppy Assassination. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, I... Let's see if I, I can sparkle again when this is going to give me the same result. It does. Okay. And the, yeah, the it first gives you the same was, result until uh, the next day. Yeah, was uh, Winter Meteor Chop. <laughs> Winter Meteor Chop. Well, okay. I don't like it. And you could change, <laughs> you could change any of those words to, like, um, I guess, like, it's... Well, if you think about what your character is, the words that would fit, like fluffy or cute, or like so, to the thesaurus, <laughs> kawaii. Maybe uh, thesaurus. It could be or... uh, adorable inner reveal or. Adorable baby animal reveal. It just turns into a baby animal of any kind. Um, hmm. Charismatic, lovely companion. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking. Uh... Well, okay. I don't like the way that rolls off. The way that does not rail. Roll off the tongue, but, off the side, okay. yeah. uh, but something along the lines of uh, uh, glitter, glitter swirl uh, zenith, and okay. yeah, that say that ten times fast. Uh, <laughs> well, you could put a word in between swirl and zenith because of the two S nodes, like glitter swirl, uh, lovely zenith. Mm. That's the word they use a lot. Absorbing Zenith? Yeah. Or Sexy. like uh Sparkle Glitter Zenith. I kinda yeah. like that. Yeah? I'll go with that. Alright. Okay. Uh should I put this anywhere in particular? Oh that's your special that's attack move, so it's uh oop, 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 oop. I just put it in your I guess. Beast okay, put, so put that as the name of the attack move, and then uh, put the cute animal transformation into the description. Or is this? Yeah. Or is, sure. or is this something yeah, that yeah. I would call out anytime I cast any spell? Uh, no, this is this is your thing. ultimate. This is your special move. Like this is your your powerful blast. This is your your signature thing you do during a. It's like a Pikachu's electric burst. Like. They have other moves, but like that is the thing that they do. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, and Glitter has an L. Get her, get her, get her into an animal. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so got that. Um, uh, oh, best works uh, school subject. 
Uh, I think that uh, I'm really good at math. Uh, okay. Listen to listen to bio and info. Mm -hmm. uh, Great at maths. Um, may not like let people know that, but I am. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and here's the thing: Are you a girl or are you a boy or are you neither? Uh, I'm going with girl. Neither. Okay. I try to say neither and neither at yeah. the same time. And it almost works. Yeah. Imagine so, a girl, a girl. And, and do not hesitate to, to like speak up if you think I'm being like uh, too tropey in a bad way. Oh, no, no, okay, yeah. Okay. There are some tropes in animes that aren't great. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's why we have this game to talk about things. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, first subject, uh, I think it really is P. Like, I just, yeah. uh, you know, maybe if I applied myself, I, I, I could, uh, do okay at track or whatnot, but I, mm -hmm. I, I just, I don't care to. Yeah. You know. Give her the things to do. The, the the jock cheerleaders are their own thing. They mm -hmm. they uh they they have a, a certain amount of uh uh social cachet, but they 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 don't rule the school. They, right. Yeah. Uh, the underground yeah. magical girl fight club rules the school. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, I guess I I still need to pick uh, my uh, my uh, special skills. Yeah, your flavor Is text. It? Now that you sort of know flavor, more of okay. like of your theme, which is transforming things into cuter things, <laughs> which I'm going to apply <laughs> to everything. Like there's a moldy apple. It's like super shiny and like low key. <laughs> Um, However, you want to use your powers. So yeah, yeah, I, I think way? maybe uh, a skill that just reflects that in general. Uh, uh, well, these skills are more um, like. Or should it be? Yeah, events in your life. That I mean, you could you could definitely pick transmogrification, or pick like cute things as as your flavor skill. But I want to make sure that you're not too focused in on, on that. So, like min-maxing transmogrification and cute things, uh, it 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 makes you. It's what makes you unique, whatever way you find that. Okay. Right. Um, like for one of my examples, like being a dad is one of the things. Like oh yeah. You wouldn't, mm -hmm. Like, where would you apply that? Well, more places than you would think. It just depends on how your character is. So. Okay. The world is your fluffy so, oyster. Yeah. Wait, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. So, the, the actual min-maxing on this would be to uh, <laughs> pick something <laughs> that you could uh, apply from multiple angles. No, well, um, I'm just saying uh, you want to have uh, a variety of skills. I want to make sure you're not too focused on cute things and trials by vocation because you already kind of have that. But if you want to, that's totally fine, too. I just want to make sure you know you have the ability to be a broad range of character development. Okay. But if you really want to narrow that, then that's fine, too. Okay. Thank you. Um, hmm. A 
Okay. Uh, so uh, what popped into my mind, and I'm resisting and, and want to go actually go in a different direction, but that I'll mention it just because it, it, it's uh, sure. popped into my mind is, is just like social engineering. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, something that uh, might be. Might be generally useful, but like brings out a different aspect of her personality. Sure. So, um, if just for example, if you did go with social engineering, I would say, in what way do you enact that? And you're like, well, I'm good at convincing people to do what I want. So that would be more like a conniving version of social engineering than like a broad, I can control a city with laws and stuff. So it's it all depends on how you define it for your person, too. So. Hmm. Uh. Well, okay, so this is sort of going along the, the you know, already established stuff, and that mm -hmm. there's uh, deception and intimidation, but uh, uh, sort of want to go with like a, uh, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how to word it, but like a compliment skill. That can either be, uh, you know, really cutting or actually build someone up. Okay. Uh, you could say uh, genuine flattery, or um, so. Well, how do you use it? Like, what, what is a skill to you? Right. So. Um, are you are you genuinely nice, or do you use it to cut people down? Uh, you could say something like, hmm. "Well, I, I think so that really is, depends is it more on, of a, on like on, a talking like, skill, or is it like can you do it like with glance?" Um, I I think it's definitely like a a, a talking skill. Like it, it it definitely requires communication. Okay. Um. But. Uh, whether or not it's uh, 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 nice or cutting depends on uh, uh, really depends on my mood. Okay. Like, so it, it's how you. It's a version of flattery, right? So you could say. Is it a version of flattery that you use primarily for manipulation? Or is it just you're just it's just something you say to people? Like, is it is it a tool to use to get them to do what you want, or is it just a way in which you steer a conversation without an end goal? If that's uh, enough. Yeah. Uh... Like, you could just say something like flattery, and then use it however you like like leave it less defined so you mm -hmm. can use it in more situations uh, or you could say like like i said like flattery uh yeah. where people know you like you're known in the school that's i think what feeds into your intimidation so there could be that attachment of suspicion on to what you use it for and people's expectations of what you do affects how they respond to it so that could change things there but if you want to just name it something vague then that could be a thing okay uh, uh, looks like I don't look at refinement until now I'm 
Yeah. He's almost coming through. Yeah, they're alive. They're, they're alive another way. Um, yeah, because flattery could be like a genuine flattery, or as the description says, excessive and insincere praise, especially to given that's given to further one's own interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think flattery works. Or you could say something like honeyed words, uh, if that was more. Oh, um, yeah, I like that better. Style. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why the thesaurus and dictionary are your friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I There's think a... I'm here. Oh, hello. Hey! Hello. Come here, yeah. Hello. You're here. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. It's like, oh, That's I can't okay. and everything. Uh, it happens. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's a day. <laughs> Brad's, Brad's been having trouble. He's like, I, I want to wait till, I want to wait till Spook is back. And I, I don't want to... We gotta decide together, and I'm like, it's alright, we'll work through it. It's we'll okay, I'm it. very agreeable with uh, <laughs> decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, uh, sort of the main thing that I was uh, uh, attempting to hold off on and eventually uh, invested in is uh, School of Magic. I broke it down. Yeah. Um, so, I think what I'm gonna go with is uh, I I'm calling the. Uh, uh, is sort of a transmogrification school, and my particular take on it is like pink glitter trans, uh, uh, transmorphic, transmorphication. They make uh, things cuter. Yes. They turn people or things into cuter versions or animal versions or baby animal versions, uh, whatever is the most adorable. And we discussed that if it doesn't work exactly right, then it has like that half, like, Somebody gets ears, like little, little bear ears or fox ears, or the tree has a tail. Who knows? Um, <laughs> it all depends. Um, and Brad was picking out their flavor text, and we got one down. Uh, and working on the next one. Yes. Oh, um, is yeah. my um, is my video coming through? No. No. Oh. Mm. It's not. But that's okay. Your lovely voices. Uh, so, uh, I'm curious if you had a, uh, a uh, school of magic in mind. Uh, I was thinking of maybe being uh, a summoner. Sure. You know, I, I'm not good at making friends, so I summon them. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Have you had a chance to think about your, your four things? Your, um, your magical power theme, your hair color, your special attack move, and the best and worst subject at school? Yeah, so uh, I was a black hair. Okay. Uh, the was that the theme? Yeah, as in, like core concept? I was thinking like a like a dark shrine maiden. It's like sure. Concept. Yeah. Um, special move. I was thinking maybe some kind of fusion where me and one of my summons can like beep and like you know. Um, sure. Uh, think up somehow. Yeah. Uh, worst subject would be philosophy. Okay. Then I'm thinking maybe history. Uh, my best. Okay. I'm not 100% on that. That may change sure. based on maybe something arty. I just like being arty, but I'm always something arty, so I don't know. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did mention you might want to be something arty since you had Tattooist as one of your flavor texts, which could be how you summon things. Who knows? Um... Maybe, uh, uh, what's the, uh, that Harry Potter thing? The Harry Potter thing, I think, is care and feeding of magical creatures. It, it could be care and feeding of, of, uh, spooky creatures. I don't know. Care and feeding of illustrated creatures. 
I'm nodding, but uh, you can't. <laughs> I can hear you nod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Brett, I mean, uh, did you want to say the things we discussed for your character? Uh, also, for your special attack move, uh, Spook, you need to come up with a um, a phrase that you say. Uh, Brad's is uh, Brad. Why don't you, Why don't you give it a shot? Since you can mine is uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, mine for the the magical effect of uh, changing uh, you know changing people into bunnies or whatnot. I uh, shout out uh, sparkle glitter zenith. Mm -hmm. And there's lights, ribbons. Yes. <laughs> a little fanfare. Little cute animal faces fly bit. Yeah. yeah. And that see that's the thing that always takes the longest is uh is finding that that exact right combination of words that would make your that would match your theme as well as the thing you're trying to do. And this is for like it's like their their charge up ability that they would use like once or twice a fight or it's like their their not custom, their brand. Like their brand move. Like it's the thing the kids shout in the street as they play these characters. Um, after watching the show or what have you, we were at thesaurus. dot com a long time ago. Yeah, I'm. It's definitely. I'm thinking one of like the sort of. It's going to be one of like the sort of longer ones. It's going to be like you know, behold, and then almost like I think even the name of the summons need to be in it each time. Yeah. So behold, Zatanna, we. Something, something. Wow, this is the hardest bit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, and it's like we went through a different variations, like of uh, sparkle or adorable or lovely, and then glitter came up, and zenith is a good word. So maybe something like behold the combined might of me of Zatara and her infinite galaxy swirl, um, or it's <laughs> just something. And, and Okay. Sometimes so, you just say something without thinking yeah. it comes up. <laughs> yeah. So I, I for coming up with the uh uh the name of it, uh what is the what is the actual uh, effect that you're going for? Is it just I mean, is it like uh, uh is it, is it summoning itself or or yeah. oh, it's the fusion? Mm -hmm. Um hmm. correct. So, if you want to take this yokai watch style, you could do a, where you just swap out the name of the person. It's like, behold, the infinite fusion of the thing, uh, and the then your like cosmic name of of Zatara and the eternal maiden of the waters of infinity. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. The everlasting shrine. The everlasting shrine, yeah. So, they could still do the, yeah. or, the anime thing. Yeah. Have, or maybe... Like, the different summon up, but it could have that same sound bite on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like, mm -hmm. a Amalgam Shrine Guardian? Amalgam. That would be a, a hard word, but a good word for people to learn. It's like, how'd you learn Amalgam? Well, I watched this anime when I was like seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's the first thing that came up on a thesaurus search of, of, uh, of fusion, and uh, it's a cool word. Yeah. Um... Like, it's better than synthesis. Synthesis is, is, is like too technical. Yeah, if you have a list, you're screwed. Um, <laughs> alloy is cool. Um, or coalesce. Does anyone know where the actual like settings for uh, Skype is? Oh, oh, oh ah, hang on. I may have found <laughs> okay. something. Uh, uh well okay in the top uh 
top right, uh, on the desktop version, it may be different for uh, on your phone. No, uh, no, I'm, there... I'm on a desktop now. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a thing for like call quality information. Oh, also, the middle... it's on the chat window itself, if you go to Skype conversation and then call and then open it up, it has audio settings and video uh, there. This is why people pay like fifteen dollars a month for Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> they do a lot of shows. But I mean, <laughs> oh, thank you, Engine. So much money now. Uh, the thing is, uh, with with Zoom, I I found that, uh, and it, it's probably just like particular to my setup, uh, is that if the if my camera was fighting with me, um. Even if I got the camera working again, uh, if I was using Zoom, I would always have to reboot the computer. Like I, I couldn't. Oh. Just, yeah, yeah, That's not it, great. yeah. If if Zoom was unhappy with the way I with uh, the the camera when I you know when I launched the program, no combination of, of uh, leaving and coming back uh, worked. Wow. That was a bit of a flaw. Oh. <laughs> um. But uh, again, that that I think was uh, fairly particular to my uh, uh, USB issues on this computer, which are terrible. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, on my laptop, I have three outlets. Uh, one is my mouse. What is my mic? And one is my phone charging. So, but or if I'm drawing at the same time and have my mic up, it's my tablet. There's. Yeah. I need to get a splitter eventually, but. Yeah, the the USB problems may have anywhere. something to do with uh, uh, me using the hub for uh, camera, speakers, uh, mouse. Uh, what else? Uh, there's, there's at least a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> that might be too many. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of things. A lot of stuff going on there. Um, yeah, whenever Adam talks about his like his overlay switches, like his boxes, the t like I see streamers' pictures of like their setup, and I'm just like, that's a lot. That's uh, yeah. The only thing fancy I have is a light that shines at my face mm -hmm. because I can never rely on the sunlight. Well, it changes. Sun. That that sun, it moves around. Yeah. Oh, maybe go back. Or we keep on moving around it, I guess. To be... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been... Bo both things are actually true to some degree, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I saw the... um, There's a, an animation of our galaxy spiraling sideways as it transports through space. Like, it's not a circle. It's a circle like this, but it's also, like, shooting forward. Yeah, that was cool. Science. That sounds very cool. So okay, so for my Jeez. other uh, my other skill, mm -hmm. I I kind of want to do I, I like I, I am uh, sort of tempted to take like arcane techno babble, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know that it, that actually does anything other than being flavorful. Well, if you say it does something, then it does something. Oh, <laughs> that's the thing about this game. It's like. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, once once Spook gets back in, I'm gonna see if we can't um, look at their skills a little bit. And because uh, insects is good for knowing about insects, but if you wanna have it be uh, applicable for more things, then um, maybe yeah, yeah, um, well, a generic. Sure, but, um, yeah. 
I, I was sort of thinking of the insects, and then I was thinking maybe um, another one, because I think I'll stick with the tattooing, but then another one was maybe like Games of Chance, which I think yeah. is... Yeah, um, you could Games of Chance, so anything where there was a risk, you could apply that to. Uh, mm -hmm. For insects, you could do something like Creepy Crawly. So whenever you're trying to like track something small and skittering, or that also would include insects, or if... If somebody at your school is being like really suspicious and weird, you could apply creepy crawly to that. Uh, but that's like, that's why it's how you name things could just change how you use them. And it, it comes up in unexpected ways. So finding the perfect name doesn't always work because you don't know how that skill is going to come up. So you should just name it something fun and see what happens. Sure. It's very like uh, like the specialties in World of Darkness where you're trying to get something really broad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, um, if you scroll up in Discord, like, the original moves for this game were, like, it was a 1920s noir, like, the old Razzle Dazzle, which is showy talk. Nice. Illusions, Love charming. it. Mm -hmm. uh, it had skulking, which is sneaking, edgelording, pickpocketing, and stakeouts. <laughs> edgelording, uh, I love it. <laughs> uh, fisticuffs was non-weapon fighting, aggressive bodily actions, and grappling. Uh, so it could just be like you could use it as, oh, I'm intimidating them, but I'm using like my my four, my presence to like step to them. Um, and that way you would roll fisticuffs. Uh, make pretend is disguising yourself, using an alibi or false identity. Uh, jiggery pokery is slide dexterous attack or weapon use, smash them up, blunt weapons. Back in my day, is a flashback move that you could use to give yourself a skill or give yourself some knowledge that you would normally have. And I know a guy is you know a guy, so. Yeah, heart songs being open. Like I kind of want to ah. make that a separate game uh, because I like those names so much. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, yeah. I feel like there's more as well. There's a lot of design space there. I think. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna hang up and come back in to see if that okay. will make my camera uh, work. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in any situation, if we solve this technology problem now, it will never come up again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's not how that's yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think instead of arcane techno babble, yeah. um. Would you be cool with uh, occult erudition? So basically the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't want to have it be babble though. I wanted it to be. Yeah. Uh, or also complete. like techno could apply to like if you say techno babble, it could be magic and technology, like that combination of them. But if you say what did what did you say? Uh, occult erudition. Cult erudition is is more specific towards magics and woo. Yeah. Things, it, it, you know? Yeah. He goes I mean... woo and then it goes beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my thinking is that it's uh uh primarily useful for uh uh Supping up, sucking up to or, or, or pleasing uh, uh, teachers, like I can speak their uh, uh, speak their language. Um, but uh, you know, uh, it's, it's pretty broad, broad based. I think maybe too broad based, but I. I uh, <laughs> But I like it as a contrast to the uh, the sort of the the social buffiness mm -hmm. uh, of Bianca. Sure. Are you back, Spook? I don't see a picture. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I've I've not been leaving. Um, <laughs> I just don't know with the video. Sorry, guys. I, I've been That's okay. I've been trying, but the. Yeah. Uh, the most helpful one I got was reinstall Skype, and I was like, oh, thank, thanks. No. <laughs> uh, right now, Skype is eating up half of my processing power. Wow. Well, 
technology. Um, yeah, so it's. But can you hear us well? I mean, is that? And yep, yep. I I hear you well. I can see you guys. Okay, okay well that's good. Um, uh, are you? Did, did you get? You got the link for roll twenty, right? I thought I saw you pop in there. Earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm just okay. coming in now. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, scan. Thanks. And yeah, get it. We <laughs> we got everyone in the same game. <laughs> Hooray! That's half the battle. Okay, uh, I'm going to capture. So, Spook, did you have any questions about the game or? Magical girls, or what we talked about for the school. I, could, I guess I could tell you about what we. Um, told. yeah, just about magical girls. Just um, sure. why aren't they real? Uh, who says they're not? I, the internet told me that onion did, and then it made me cry. Well, the thing is, of course, the internet would stop you because it's run by the government organizations who secretly have these magical girl squads fighting oh, monsters. Damn. And oh, aliens damn. in secret. Oh god, welcome to infowars.com. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so like just on that. Or uh, or to use a white wolfism, uh be because they're they're agents of the technocracy. Sure. The master yep. race. <laughs> um, so like on just on that note of the government trying to, you know, be nefarious, um, so you guys have like the Fourth of July as like you know the whole well, hey we we're yeah. a thing now, which is cool yeah. and it's like reverse Fourth of July weekend here, where we celebrate people failing to overthrow our government, um, which is you know always nice. So happy, uh, happy oh, right. Fifth of November weekend, it's guys. The fifth. Yeah, happy well, it's the fourth, but it's it's kicking off. There's fireworks. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, for the entire month of July, it's explosions and loud noises and if you have PTSD or a dog it is not great. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah so, been about... Dog and lots of, lots of cats here. Not a you, deal. You've, you've experienced a 4th of July here? Yeah I was in Boston for it. Uh, this oh July. that's a big one. <laughs> yeah and they do like because I was thinking you know, I'd get to America and there'd be a lot of, like, British novelty I could milk off, like, just being a British person. But, oh, in yeah. Boston, they do not care. They, they are, they, they've yeah. seen a British person before. They, they are <laughs> not charmed by your accent. Yeah. They do not approve. You know, uh, the further into the middle or, uh, I guess, West Coast, South Coast. Yeah. But, but the whole East Coast are all jaded because colonism or whatever. Um, Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm a big fan he, of the South Coast. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, here in California, I, I find myself uh, uh, always charmed by uh, a wide variety of, of English accents. Like, yeah. uh, not, you know, um, well, uh, a variety of them, because there, you know, there, there's, uh, there are many. Yeah. We know the UK is varied and cultured and has a rich history from with which to draw their accents. Yeah. At the bakery I get a lot of uh, a lot of German folks lately like they come in waves like certain months I'll get like a lot of Swedes or like in spring or early summer there's a lot of Russians. The embassy isn't too far from there. So consulate. Not embassy. Anyways, uh, <laughs> okay. what's your top? I can have any copy. Mm -hmm. oh. Interesting. And also the Shoot. tour groups. That reminds me. I still have coffee. It's cold. We've got oh, it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. 
No, I've been drinking uh, ice cream coffee and I bought ice cream and coffee, so. Damn. Yeah. Um, so, ma Magical Girl stuff. Is there other mm -hmm. stuff you guys want to focus on? Or are you ready to introduce your characters? Uh, uh well. I, uh, I realize that it's um, pretty late in the day. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> Uh, but if, if you all, well, uh, well, okay, yeah, it depends, uh, how much, um, uh, how much more, uh, time to, uh, you two, um, have in you? Like, I, I, I'm free, but I, I, uh, you know, that, you know. Um, I don't have any other commitments, but um, I am obviously just a bit like knackered from the train. But I'm I'm definitely up for playing. But if I start to lag, I'll I'll just let you guys know. We could do uh, character introductions and do like an hour of play just to sort of introduce you to the world and have that be that. And then it's like sort of ready and loaded, like in the chamber. Yeah. Uh, if this uh, if we have technical issues in the future. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, yeah. Are you all up for a short break before we uh, uh, jump into character stuff? Again, sure. late in the day, so, but uh, so we can we can finalize your characters and make sure I have all your all your important notes because I do have some questions after the break to ask. So okay. That will. Yeah, we can sort of build a world from there. Cool. All righty. Uh, so yes, uh, we will be back uh, shortly. Uh, please uh, stick around, or uh, if you're more likely watching this on YouTube or some such, um, uh, check out the, the second half. It will be uh, <laughs> it'll be less chaotic, probably. Oh, probably. certainly. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be difficult for it to be more chaotic, so it'll probably be less chaotic. <laughs>